um, it is such a rare opportunity uh, for us to be able to observe this interstellar comet. And NASA Science has been given this, inc this really, really exciting opportunity to do it, and literally from the moment of its discovery. Just like Amit said, comets are tiny cosmic snowballs. And by studying them, we can learn about the environment from you know, basically where they formed, where they came from. This one came from a different environment from our own, and so we're already starting to see some really interesting differences to comets from our own solar system. 3i Atlas, as you heard, is the third known interstellar object to pass through our solar system, the first one being identified in 2017. While these types of interstellar objects have long been predicted, we are just beginning to be able to find them thanks to the newest technologies with our network of Earth-based telescopes, which are designed to find small, fast-moving objects in space. The NASA-funded Atlas Survey Telescope, which made the discovery, is part of NASA's planetary defense network. Our telescopes are always watching the skies to keep us safe, and in doing so, they occasionally make major scientifically interesting discoveries, just like this one. Right away, of course, NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office established, they studied it, and they established that 3 i Atlas is not a danger to Earth. In fact, it's at least twice, uh, twice as far away as the distance between the Earth and our Sun. On October 30th, uh, the comet itself reached the closest it will ever be to the sun when it crossed just inside Mars's orbit, which is why the image that Amit just showed, he noted it was the closest instrument physically to the comet because the comet was right inside the orbit of Mars. Earth was on the opposite side of the sun, um, which is about as far away as our planet can possibly be from Mars. It's been clear from the moment of discovery that the comet was going to pass on the opposite side of the sun from where the Earth is. However, it was also clear that its positioning behind the sun was going to make observations from Earth very, very difficult. And that is why we are so happy to have our incredible fleet of NASA science spacecraft all across the solar system. And boy, were they ready for this event. NASA's science assets um, on board our missions have provided the United States the unique capability to observe 3i Atlas almost the entire time it passes through our celestial neighborhood. Everything NASA science does is interconnected, and nearly 20 mission teams have been uh, working um, together to really rise to this challenge. 20 mission teams, by the way, and counting. Everything we're learning about the comet is possible because of the distribution of all of the different instruments on our spacecraft with different capabilities. And I'll note that for some of them, we've even pushed our scientific instruments beyond their normal capabilities, beyond the things that they were designed to achieve to allow us to capture this amazing glimpse at this um, interstellar traveler. In other words, we can study this comet so well because we have many different assets in different locations, observing things in different wavelengths, in different ways, with different instruments, each set of observations providing a different lens for understanding objects in the sky. So NASA's science team has kept watch on 3i Atlas for nearly its entire journey through the solar system for the first time ever. So I'll just quickly go through the timeline of which NASA spacecraft have observed the comet thus far, and we're still going. Uh, there will be more opportunities to observe this comet as it continues its journey through the solar system, passing uh, the orbit of Jupiter in spring of 2026. So the NASA assets that are gathering observations of 3i Atlas include Hubble, the James Webb Space Telescope, TESS, SWIFT, SPHEREX, Perseverance Mars Rover, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MAVEN, Europa Clipper, Lucy, Psyche, personal favorite, Parker Solar Probe, PUNCH, STEREO, and ESA, NASA's SOHO mission. And I'll note that Parker Solar Probe's data were just downloaded yesterday, and indeed, we did catch several glimpses of this amazing comet.